Gold participant from around the world. I'm Kristen Schwartz, Florida licensed midwife and MC for Gold Learning. And today I'm chatting with Bridget Lynch about her upcoming presentation, The Loss of the Lying in Time, How Medicine and Midwifery Abandoned Mothers Following Birth. And as a midwife, I'm very excited about this presentation. And I'm so glad everybody is with us today, and I would like to welcome Bridget. Hello, Bridget. Hello. It's wonderful to be here. Bridget, tell us a little bit about your professional journey and uh, tell us a little bit about the topic, why that became of interest to you. Well, what I've discovered during my lifetime is that a lot of our professional interests actually come from personal experience and um, personal interests. And it's this is a very interesting one. I am the mother of five children. And when I look at the loss of a lying in time and an abandonment of mothers, I really need to go back to the birth of my own children in the 1970s. And my experiences at that time, which were that I was handed my baby when I was discharged from hospital and sent home to look after it in the best way I knew how within my circumstances. And I thought I would prove to the world what a great mother I was. And I was up and out and had my baby with me and I had two screaming, colicky, unhappy children for the first three months of their lives. And it was a time period where my husband and I basically survived. And then I began to get into midwifery and my interest in the time following birth, I had an opportunity to explore it further. And what it turned into was, as a midwife, I began to ask women from other cultures how they experience the time following birth. What was it like within their families, within their villages and cultures and countries that they had come from, from around the world and had subsequently moved to Toronto. So I was able to ask them about their countries of origin. And I began to work with women during the postpartum time here in Toronto and explore different ways of experiencing the time following birth. And ultimately, I did my master's in the loss of the lying in time. And as a midwife, I have really pursued other ways of being and supporting women and their families following birth so that it is actually, I describe it as, how do we make these the best days of our lives? Not that they're perfect days, not that they're without exhaustion, but how do we protect this time and space so that mothers, their newborns, and their families can thrive? Thank you, Bridget. That is, um, I can really hear the passion in your voice when you talk about the subject. And as a mother of five and having that experience, um, you know, you, you really know how important the lying in time is. And, and that leads me to my next question. Um, that uh, topic of postpartum of, you know, uh, we, we focus so much, especially as care providers, on the time of pregnancy and on birth. And then basically after the birth, you know, the moms are often, you know, by themselves and struggling with issues that you just mentioned um, in, you know, answering the previous question. So when shining light on that topic, can you describe what kind of barriers you ran into or what, what you saw uh, during your studies? And well, that's, years. that's, yeah, and that's a really interesting question because so much of this is invisible. The experiences of women following birth, you know, prior to the medicalization is found mostly in diaries and often women didn't write about their feelings about it so much as there were expectations of a protected time and space that was used to be known as a lying in time. Um, so my studies were really a look at what happened in our medical culture once birth was brought into the hospital and to follow the arc of uh, the time postpartum within the hospital setting and how over the decades following the initial hospitalization of childbirth, especially in the 1920s, through to now, the arc of how the postpartum has been considered and how women and their newborns have been treated down to today where basically it's described as one night in hospital for a vaginal birth and two in hospital for a cesarean section here in Canada um, and in increasingly in, in countries across um, the West. So 
it has been extrapolating information. There has been very little that's been written about this in um, in uh, midwifery research and medicine. Um, it's one of the areas that's still way too unexplored. So the work that I'm doing, and I know that many midwives have concerns in this area. This is by no means just my concern. Um, what do we do about it is the challenge that's facing us. Um, how do we bring the mother back into the picture? How do we support the dyad following birth? Um, and regrettably, basically what happens currently is the mother is handed her baby upon discharge from hospital and expected to be the caregiver for that baby. And the message is that the mother herself doesn't need any further particular care except to get some rest and, for heaven's sakes, please not develop postpartum depression to be monitoring yourself for that, um, for the sake of the baby especially. So the, the barriers are many because it's an area that we haven't really pursued with fervent interest. That, that makes a lot of sense. <clears throat> and and um, I do believe what you just said really uh, shows that care providers still have a lot to learn and not only care providers also family members anybody who is in in the area that you know dealing with the mom and the new baby who helps uh, you know we we definitely need to know more about this topic and I'm so glad this is part of the midwifery cons conference this year now to my last question what do you hope your delegates will get out of this presentation well you know, given that this is a midwifery conference, my it's a great opportunity for me to talk to midwives from around the world um, and to engage in a discussion and a reflective discussion wherein whatever we're country, whatever country we're from, whatever our uh, regulated practice might look like, are we doing the best we can for mothers and infants after? We're the after birth. We're the only profession in the world whose sole responsibility is for the mother-infant dyad. And are we doing the best we can be doing to support this dyad in the early days and weeks following birth? So I'm hoping it will lead to interest in the topic, to dedication on the part of the many wonderful researchers in our midst, in our midwifery community, to begin to investigate and research and look at this topic um, for the for the betterment of the mother infant dyads we're serving. Thank you so much, Bridget, for chatting with me today. Bridget's presentation, The Loss of the Lying in Time, How Medicine and Midwifery Abandoned Mothers Following Birth, will be available live on February 14th and is part of our Gold Online Midwifery Conference. For more information when this presentation is being held in your time zone and on all the other presentations of the Midwifery Conference, please visit www goldmidwifery.com. Thank you everyone for listening and goodbye for now.